What's good everybody, this is uh, Ice from Ice Multimedia and I'm back with another video Photoshop tutorial for you. Um, I know it's been a little while in between uh, this one and the last one. I actually I had a concerned uh, viewer email me and ask me if I was dead or not. So, uh, nope, happily I'm not dead and I'm hopefully going to be coming back doing, uh, doing more of these on a consistent basis. Um, so to just quickly jump right into it, uh, today we're going to be doing a comic text effect. Uh, I know you've seen this on a ton of mixtapes. Um, it's also really popular in print advertisement. And, like if you go into like a shopping circular or something like that, like you might see something like this. Um, today uh, you will need uh, both Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator uh, for this. Could you complete it all in Photoshop? Probably. Will you be able to get like as crisp and clean um, as an effect as you will using Illustrator? Definitely not. And the amount of time it's going to take um, in Photoshop versus Illustrator is just uh, it's monumentous um, in comparison. And another, you know, a key to being a, a good designer is not only you know coming out with something that looks hot, but in addition to you have to get there in an efficient fashion. So. Um, really you want to be using uh, both of these programs for this and this is how I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, as always, and just quickly, um, you can hit me up at icemultimedia at gmail.com or uh, I recently started like a Facebook fan page because I'm in the process of uh, doing my uh, portfolio website up so um, you guys can, can fan me and like me and do whatever the hell it is y'all do on Facebook to my page. So uh, Let's just jump right in. I got Photoshop open it up here. Now, uh, you're going to open up a new document. I already have one open, but um, you're going to open up a new one. And for your width, you're going to have 800 pixels. Make sure you're in pixels, not inches or anything else, centimeters. Pixels, 800 for your height. And your resolution can stay 72. Is, we're just going to be doing a web graphic here. Um, so then you can go ahead and click OK, and you will get a, a blank canvas with a transparent background um, like this. And also, uh, I'm just going to minimize this and show you, this is uh, Adobe Illustrator right here. Um, this is actually CS3. <laughs> I know I'm a little behind in the times, but uh, my Photoshop uh, experience far outweighs my, uh, my Illustrator experience. So for, uh, for what I need to get done with uh, you know, the vectors and um, things of that nature in Illustrator, this, this works just fine for me. But I should definitely uh, actually upgrade this. Um, so we're going to go ahead and create new. And in all actuality, we can just leave a lot of this the same. I don't know what your uh, current uh, defaults are, but um, you know you can use the default size. We have basically a, an 8x11 um, standard piece of paper right here. We ha I'm using the uh, color mode as RGB as opposed to CMYK. And uh, for roster effects, we're just going to put that at uh, 72 uh, pixels per inch. If you happen to have it um, at either one of these, it's not going to change um, anything, but I found that, um, you know, the uh, the actual rasterization process, it, like if you have effects on text or whatever, uh, it takes a lot less time if you have a smaller uh, resolution. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And here we go. Now, it, this is really a pretty uh, easy effect to create. Um, I'm going to go back into Photoshop real quick, and I'm going to get my text tool out. And really what I'm doing here is I just want to pick what font um, I want to select, and really you get a better uh, indication in Photoshop. Um, even though you can... I shouldn't say that. Like, you can you can view all the glyphs in, in Illustrator, but just uh, quickly, I'm just... I'm going really um, by the text bar up here. So you're going to go up here to where your the name of your font is. You're going to click this little dialog box down arrow, and you'll see next to the font um, you have a quick uh, sample as to what it's going to uh, what it's going to look like. So I'm just going to pick one here. Um, I'm kind of tired of all of the uh, all of the standards. And as you can see, I have a pretty uh, pretty wide array of fonts. I mean, you can you can go on uh, Defont and just go to cartoon fonts and stuff like that, and you can pretty much whatever you need. Uh, I'm going to try this Monster Mash one. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, drag out uh, text box here and change my font size to 72, we'll say. Uh, I can always change it later, but that's I usually go with 72 just as a, a rough beginning part. And uh, for text, say what's up to the haters out there, because we know there's plenty of them. 
if you ain't got haters, you're doing something wrong. Remember that. Um, so then I'm just going to blow that up just a little bit just to see it. Alright, so that's fine. Um, so now I have that. I'm not really going to do anything with that. I just wanted to take a look at it just to make sure that um, everything is to my liking because it's kind of one of those speak now or forever hold your peace moments. Um, so we're just going to remember that we're going to be using Monster Mesh as our font over in, um, over in Illustrator. So Illustrator, same thing. You can get your text tool up and you're going to drag out a box. Now the canvas, it doesn't really matter if you stay within um, within the constraints of this because we're basically just going to be kind of using uh, Illustrator for a filter effect and then bring it into Photoshop. Um, so here again, it a CC Monster Mash, I think it was. be a lot smarter if I just typed it in, but I don't know, what can I say? Um, so, hi, haters, and then obviously we're going to have to select that and change the size of the font. Now again, um, the size doesn't really matter too much because we're going to be having a, making a smart object out of this, but that's a little further down the road. You just want to have something that you're comfortable working with. So, I mean that's, we can even do 200 just for the sake of it for, for the time being, because I'd rather work with something bigger than something smaller. Uh, and then from here, um, we're going to go up to Type and go down to Create Outlines. You can also do this with Shift Control O, which I recommend uh, learning because it's the fastest way to do it. So to Create Outlines, um, this just makes it so that if we wanted to, we could individually change the orientation of the letters. You see that, uh, like you see a lot of um, kind of jagged effects like this, like on mixtapes and what have you. Um, it just it gives it a little bit of depth. I mean, you don't need to do it for everything, um, and it's definitely overused. But I mean, it's just it's just a little something. And then if you get really crazy, you can actually change the uh, the paths. Um, but that is something for an entirely different day. And I'm just gonna re reorientate this. Alright, so I mean we got we got a little little crazy something going on here. 